Welcome to the Lockout Tagout Awareness Level Training Course. Records show that 120 people are killed every year when a machine or piece of equipment is unexpectedly energized during maintenance or repair. This 20-minute awareness level training course provides an overview of lockout tagout procedures. Additional training is offered through the full-length, comprehensive lockout tagout training course. For more information, contact your supervisor. OSHA's lockout tagout regulation is called the Control of Hazardous Energy. This standard became effective on January 2, 1990. The regulation protects 7 million workers and is estimated to prevent 60,000 injuries and 120 fatalities a year. In addition to the victim, there is generally a second person involved, namely the person who mistakenly turns on the equipment that hasn't been locked or tagged down. This training course is intended to provide you with the information you need to keep yourself and your co-workers safe when working with machinery. At the end of this course, you will be able to list the criteria for clearing machine jams. Distinguish between power off and isolating hazardous energy. Associate the neglect of these procedures with potential harm. Explain the steps for locking out equipment and for returning it safely back into service. Describe lockout tagout procedures for groups and contractors. And describe good practices and systems in lockout tagout activities. Click on each picture to discover the top three causes of employee injuries. During normal operations, a machine is energized in many ways. Pressurized lines, moving pistons, spinning cutters, and energized wires. Simultaneously, workers must clear machine jams, make adjustments or tool changes, and perform minor servicing. What types of tasks can be performed with a machine running? Click here to find out. What operator actions require shutdown and lockout of the machine? Complete the sentence by dragging the correct bullet points to the sentence. 